Sports on WFLA Now. Indeed, breaking news here in Hillsborough County. We just learned that Hillsborough County schools will require masks for everyone in the fall. Teachers, students, staff members. These masks will be required where social distancing isn't something that people will be able to do. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm WFLA Now's Daisy Ruth, and if you just joined us for Governor DeSantis' press conference, I did make mention of this, but I wanted to go ahead. This is something I haven't done, but I know JB and I have been running them a lot when he's over here that should masks be required in schools in the fall? You have the yes, no, unsure options. And I am seeing, already seeing results come in, folks. I'm glad that poll actually published. But yes, the superintendent, and pull up the information here. Superintendent Addison Davis posted a message to the community on Twitter. I'm not sure if parents have received any notification that's not through Twitter saying that due to coronavirus concerns, face coverings will be required for students, teachers, and staff. He said they collaborated with medical experts at the University of, University of South Florida and Tampa, Tampa General Hospital to help guide that decision. And we agree that the health and safety of our students, teachers, staff, and Hillsborough County residents are paramount for kicking off the 2020-21 school year next month. And folks, we did learn yesterday that all Florida districts must open school campuses next month, according to the Department of Education. Governor Ron DeSantis did issue that executive order yesterday. I'm actually going, ahead, going to go ahead and put that link in the comments for you, folks. So if you have a comment, hashtag HeyDaisy, let me know your opinion. I'm going back and forth between comments and poll results. Getting a lot of a lot of responses, even though this is something we've asked before, but now we do know that one school district in our area will require them. Guys, hashtag hey Daisy. Yes, faculty, teachers, staff members, students, where social distancing is not feasible. So maybe if you are outside, I'm not sure how play, playgrounds are going to operate for our younger students in the, in the county, but if you're outside, the governor has been very adamant that he believes if you are outside, sometimes you don't need a face covering if you are away from everybody else. So folks, keep voting in that poll. I'm glad that worked. Um, and as JB and I always mention, we're not really sure how Facebook operates their polls. This is through Facebook, not through our our wonderful system here. So this may pop up after watching for a few minutes, but I'm seeing quite a few results already. So I think it did pop up for a lot of people. So I'm gonna scroll up in the comments, hashtag top fan Daniel Rivera, hashtag hey Daisy, this is definitely the right mood move here. And we got a lot of comments on Governor DeSantis's press conference stream saying to ask him about schools. This is something that he did not address today after that executive order saying that all specifically brick and mortar buildings, brick and mortar schools at, need to be open at least five days per week for all students. Again, that story is on WFLA.com. I'm going to put it in the comments one more time. Hopefully Facebook doesn't say I'm trying to spam. There we go. So that is our story from yesterday. Christina Marie, hashtag hey Daisy, please discuss the statement from the governor that said we are in a better place now that we were last year. Yes, he, we have a wonderful story from our Masa Saidi up on that statement on WFLA.com, but I do not believe that is exactly how it was worded. He said coronavirus has stabilized in Florida. Wanted to make sure I got that right from our Masa Saidi. During the news conference, the governor said he believes the virus has now stabilized in the Sunshine State. He said, I want us to be in May. I want us to be in early June where we were at 3 4% positivity. We want to get back to that for sure. I think we've stabilized at where we're at. Folks, we are at a record high of percent positivity. And I'd like to explain that because it is a little confusing. That means the number of people who tested positive for the first time divided by people who tested that day. And that was at 16.27% yesterday, which is a record high from what we've been seeing. We've kind of been sitting around 12, 14% the past few weeks. I think that was a, a thought provoking question about the governor's statement yesterday.
Alex Sodano, hashtag hey Daisy, will this apply for private schools as a private school student? What will this mean for my siblings and I? I'm not sure about private schools, Hillsborough County schools for sure that are run by the county. Again, folks, hashtag hey Daisy, we are live here on WFLA now with breaking news that Hillsborough County schools will require masks for everyone, teachers, students, staff in the fall where you're not able to socially distance. WFLA now top fan Karen Christian hashtag hey Daisy what about special needs children I've tried the mask on her and let's just say that was not fun. The statement did not address special needs students but that will be something that we're going to have to address moving forward absolutely for sure. Special needs students younger students students with pre-existing conditions that we mentioned they're not required in the county itself. If you have a pre-existing condition. I have a comment from a teacher here. Diana Sophia, hashtag hey Daisy, as a teacher, I don't know how students will be able to hear me, let alone how I will be able to speak and breathe all day. Wish they'd give us live mics or something else. Also, free hand sanitizer and wipes should be given out as well. Diana, thank you so much for your comment. And yes, hand sanitizer and wipes weren't mentioned, but one would hope that would be something that would be provided for sure. You know, a lot of you teachers out there spend a lot of money on your on your own classrooms so especially moving forward forward with hand sanitizer masks for kids it's not mentioned if the i do not believe it's not mentioned i'm going to look at this statement one more time does not say if the school district will be providing masks to every child or if that will be up to parents and guardians Getting a lot of votes here in this poll, folks. It is pretty, pretty skewed to one, one answer. We'll stay live for a few more minutes looking at your comments. Hashtag hey Daisy comments. When D hashtag hey Daisy, what will happen at lunch? I imagined kids will be socially distanced and that probably stinks. If you're, you're a kid, you wanna be socializing with your friends at lunchtime, one of the only times during the day that you can and if masks are required at lunch when you can't wear them, you're probably going to be very spread out. But that was not addressed in the statement either. Scrolling down, folks, if you missed Governor DeSantis's press conference after this stream, you can go, go back and watch that. He was speaking at a Miami facility. Melody Lafta, I apologize, folks, I always butcher last names. Hey Daisy, what about Polk County schools opening? And we do have a heavy, excuse me, I have a list pulled up of our previous stories. I want to make sure I get, get you the right answer. As of June 25th, parents and students were still awaiting an answer. School board members have been asking for feedback. That's me, did you ask me? Oh, I probably missed your comment now. I think that was, I'm reading Manatee Schools, and I think you asked for Polk, I'm sorry. The comments are coming very fast. Rob Tuff, hashtag hey Daisy. Will the class size be reduced, limited to 10? I don't know the exact answer to that, but I can imagine things might be a little more limited and definitely spread out. But folks, thank you so much for your comments. I really apologize if I miss them. They are coming so fast. Thank you, the over 1,000 of you joining me here on WFLA Now. Thanks for spending a portion of your Tuesday with me. Top fan Alyssa Gonzalez, hashtag hey Daisy. Students will be given three reusable masks. We have a lot of folks who are making reusable masks here in the Tampa Bay area too. I'm sure that some of our great folks here in the area will volunteer and step up to help out with this as well for kids who, who really need them. Tampa Bay duo, Stephanie and Becky, your hometown realtors, hashtag hey Daisy, how can they be socially distanced when my child is in a school that is overcrowded already and they have to squeeze by each other to get through the hallways? There's no way that they could socially distance any of them when they are only able, only a certain amount of tables to eat at as well. Stephanie Saladino Music, hashtag hey Daisy, how can you socially distance while in a classroom? I am, oh your comment went away, but the comment was about, she was figuring out how to, 
to arrange her classroom. That's something that teachers are going to have to start thinking about now that some schools, some county schools are, will be open. There are a few schools that are still, as of right now, just have surveys out asking parents what they would want. Those include Sarasota. They have a plan to make a decision on July 14th. And I believe it is Pasco County who has options. Yes, Pasco County schools are announcing three options for parents to choose from. And there are a, there is a survey out for that. Parents will be asked to choose an option for their student and that includes traditional, virtual learning, my school online, and virtual school. So this is still up to, partially up to the decision of the counties. David Faisal, hashtag, hey Daisy, will parents send kids to school? Because I've seen a lot of comments, even on my last stream with Governor DeSantis, that a lot of parents really do not want to. Deborah Stasiak, hashtag, hey Daisy, no one is polling the teachers and staff. They should have a voice. Jessica Rose Harris with a, uh, I'm glad you commented about this. I believe that those who cannot wear a mask due to health conditions should be able to wear a shield, but I am glad they are, re are requiring masks. It's the most responsible thing to do. So this would be face covering. I know I, I say masks here because that, that fit a little better on my screen, but face coverings. And I, I think it's something we've gotten used to saying masks, but I think a mask, like a, a surgical mask, but I have reusable masks, but they're really a, a face covering. It's just kind of a, a way to word um, face shields would probably be acceptable as long as a child's face is covered. Mercedes Montgomery, top fan, hashtag hey Daisy, have you tried to socially distance 25 kids in your living room? How would they do that in a small classroom? I can tell you guys a um, little personal thing. Uh, my mother is actually a special ed education paraprofessional, so she works with kids. So these questions, especially about special needs students and masks and how to arrange classrooms and socially distancing, I totally, excuse me, totally understand from our fantastic teachers commenting here. We'll stay live for a few more minutes because we have quite a few poll results. We just hit 1,000 on one of them. If you want to get your final votes in on the poll, I hope the poll actually popped up on your device. That's again, that's Facebook. I apologize. But if it didn't pop up, you're more than welcome to leave a comment here. I apologize I'm not, if I'm not able to get to all of your comments. Bradley Jackson, hashtag Hey Daisy, Hillsborough will have some masks for students. That was addressed in earlier emails. Lysol wipes and sanitizer to be provided for now. They're going to be going through a lot of sanitizer and wipes. I can speak from that also here in our newsroom as well. Right now, this is just Hillsborough County. Again, folks, hashtag Hey Daisy. Kenneth Neves, hashtag Hey Daisy, schools can't control lice spreading. How can they control COVID? Thank you for your comment, Kenneth. Allison Renee, WFLA top fan. Hey, Allison, hashtag Hey Daisy, or another option if parents vote, only vote for the kids to go to school two days a week instead of a full week and do the rest of the day's e-learning. That's not something I have seen here in the Tampa Bay area, but that is a very thought-provoking comment, and I appreciate it. Jacob Silberstein, hashtag Hey Daisy, is there any word on how, the Hill, on how Hillsborough intends to handle the situation of specials classes? As a music teacher, we often have multiple classes at any one time. That has not been addressed, but I would hope so moving forward within the next month because as a music teacher, I imagine if you work with younger kids, you have drums or things that a lot of kids are, are touching if they don't have their own personal instrument. Amanda, currently no word on a mask requirement for Pinellas. So folks, let's go ahead and get to these. Marilyn E.B. King, hashtag Hey Daisy, addressed the fact that masks don't work per the CDC and WHO. Uh, the CDC initially, back when the pandemic started, said that face masks probably wouldn't be helpful. And then moving forward, they did, did change their recommendation on that. 
Cameron Foley, hashtag hey Daisy. This is something we have not addressed, so thank you for this comment. What if a child comes up positive? So let me go back over to our article to make sure. The district will be monitoring health updates and recommendations, and if conditions improve enough, the requirement will be lifted. But there is currently, we are not privy to the protocol of what happens. Oh, the district will provide three reusable masks, folks. I apologize. I'm actually, the statement is in, in the link in the Facebook description. Also, if you're just joining us and need some more information, or if you're watching this stream later and want to get into that article on WFLA.com. But that is a great question if a student comes up positive. There's nothing in in this statement. The statement only requires face masks as of right now. All right, so these poll results, show results in video. Results active, I hope they popped up. I don't have my phone open to the stream. So as you can see, 1,195 of you, that's 59% say yes, that masks should be required in schools in the fall. And 26% of you, 530 say no. And about 300 of you, 15% are unsure, which is totally okay. That's why we always put that option. But the majority of you, yes, 1,203, and I can still see some results coming in as we speak. 59% of people I don't know if, if you folks are watching our parents or if you just have an opinion on kids in schools. But we appreciate you voting and I hope those, vote, those poll results continue to pop up on your phone so you can watch them in real time like me as they go up. WFLA now top fan, Dor Dordan Fry, hashtag hey Daisy, no way my kid will not be going back. E-learning will have to work. We are high risk that even young and healthy individuals are getting it and dying. No way I'm taking a chance with my kid. So folks, a couple more. Hey Daisy comments as you continue to vote here in the poll. I believe it's still active because I'm seeing results go up. Diana Sophia, hashtag Hey Daisy, my school told teachers to stop sending sick kids to the office before they were shut down. Goodness. Kenneth Neves, hashtag Hey Daisy, will they take temperatures on all students? That was not mentioned either. This is currently just the face covering, the face mask requirement for students, faculty, and staff at Hillsborough County Schools. So folks, I want to thank you so much for joining us here on WFLA Now and giving me your opinions in the comments. That's what JB and I are here for, to hear from you, to be able to provide you breaking news as it happens and get your opinions in these poll results too that we've been doing a lot more of especially during this pandemic when things are so so one side or the other some some